What is happening? I'm so cold and I feel like I'm about to get my period. See that doll? What doll? There. That's Samantha. The doll that I had when I was a little kid. The scary one. It's the same doll. Yup. Doesn't she look mad? <laughs> Not really. It's really freaking me out. It's the same outfit and everything. I feel like she found me. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your Samantha? In Columbus. In the basement. Do you think she's pissed you put her in the basement? I can't even... I can't even think about it. <laughs> I gotta go back to sleep. Come sit next to me. Just for a minute. I'll rub your neck. There's so much miniature shit. <laughs> Are you super into it? It's actually too much. I can't even look at it. It's like a Jenny Chung wet dream. I start grinding my teeth. When there's too much small stuff, I get so excited that I grind my teeth. <laughs> and I left my stupid mouth guard in Columbus. Tell them to mail it. I did. Is it the railroad? Did that make you grind your teeth? No. It's the town hall with the tiny people having like a tiny mayoral meeting around a tiny table if you peep through the window. Where? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> tell me a story. Happy or sad? Scary. Tell me a scary story. I don't know if I can like make up a scary story on the spot. Try. Do you think it's scary here? A little. Yeah, but more tragic than scary. Why tragic? You know, the tchotchkes. Paris, the like tragedy of bed and breakfast, the like desperate attempts to be homey and special and cheerful and warm and cute. I don't know, isn't it obvious? Do you think my parents' house is tragic? Jenny. Because my mother has a lot of cheerful tchotchkes. Your parents' house is I feel trapped. I'm just asking. <laughs> but I'm actually getting really anxious because I feel you trapping okay, me. Okay, there's not like a wrong answer to my question. Please so stop I trapping me! <laughs> Can you take your hand off my neck? <laughs> I don't know why that turned into a fight. That wasn't a fight. <laughs> It was a cold, dark, rainy night. A man and a woman were driving down a highway at night, a highway in the American Midwest. And then they realized, they realized they were low on gas. And they, they, they looked for a gas station, but there weren't any. And it was pouring rain, and they could barely see through the windshield. So they pulled into this uh, creepy motel by the side of the highway. And they walked into the motel, and there was an old man with one eye <laughs> sitting at the uh, front desk. And the old man with one eye had them, he told them, he had them sign their names in the <laughs> logbook. And uh, he told them they could have any room they wanted in the motel because it was totally empty. And so the man and the woman picked a room, and they, they brought their bags up to the room, and they got into bed, and then, and then they realized that there was a face at the window watching them. And it was the face of... I'm stuck! It's so good! I can only do build up to scary, not scary itself. That's okay. You want it scary! I'm sorry to keep going! And it was the face of... I'm done. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm still cold. Good night, Jenny. <laughs> I should have made it Gettysburg specific. Like ghosts of Gettysburg, all the dead soldiers and shit. <laughs> Spirits haunting the devil's den. I liked the face. <laughs>